Greetings. This video is called Five Reasons Why You Should Consider Bolt Instead of Megabus. The first reason uh, to consider Megabus or Bolt versus Megabus is that Bolt has a parent company, which is Greyhound. What's really great about this is that that means that many Bolt locations will not be on the random side of the road. The other benefit that happens is that if there are any issues with a Bolt bus, you, you get to ride a Greyhound bus where you know you have seasoned drivers and excellent equipment. So I wanted to encourage you to, first reason is the parent company difference. The second reason is that when I first started riding Megabus, I was impressed by the double-decker nature of the bus. The problem that shows up, though, is that it, it has more people on it than a single-decker. And when you have a single-decker bus, you actually get overhead storage. So you don't have to have all your bags blocking your feet as you're trying to ride a bus. The third reason uh, to consider Bolt uh, versus Megabus is that you back into the Greyhound reservation system. So what's beautiful about this is that if there are cancellations of buses or other issues with your bus, you now reach into the Greyhound reservation system and network to support your plan Bs versus having no plan B. Um, I've listed that uh, a bolt should be your other consideration, but because of the phenomenon that Megabus has been, it spawned many competitors at a little bit higher price, price point um, maybe they pick up and drop off at different locations, maybe just a little bit more money for more luxury. But I think that the other phenomena is just to encourage you to look at options that might be um, other brands that are near Megabus, um, but maybe a little bit more in dollars to get um, better treatment and comfort on your bus. Um, the third reason to consider Bolt or Megabus or other op or Bolt or Greyhound or other options, is that Megabus has actually forced a number of other companies to change how they do business, both on price and services offered. So Wi-Fi on the bus is now common in many Greyhound buses, as well as Bolt, as well as plugins, etc. The fourth reason to consider Bolt or other brands is that Megabus is, I want to say, struggling with their success. So when you get on the bus, when I first started riding it years ago, you know, the Wi-Fi might be a little bit hinky, but usually your plugins work fine, etc. Now um, I'm hearing about and experiencing many situations where it's hard to figure out where to plug in your phone. If, it, if that works, the Wi-Fi is, is listed, but usually doesn't work. So there is a number of features of Megabus that have sort of become unreliable as they've gotten larger. Um, the final issue that pops up is um, routine maintenance. Um, you know, Megabus is a great company, and they, they're big because they're part of Coach USA. One of the other issues that started to pop up is that they put a lot of mileage on their equipment. So as a result, you're starting to see more uh, you know, accidents related to wear and tear on older buses. You're seeing, um, uh, you know, I want to say weather-related accidents could be with any, you know, bus company, but um, you know, a Greyhound actually has mostly unionized drivers that are um, that have been at it for a lot of years, so they know how to handle buses in all kinds of conditions. Where in the case of Megabus, you have, uh, you know, somewhat experienced drivers, but you're talking, you know, three to five to seven years of experience versus many of the Greyhound and Bolt drivers I deal with are running 20, 30, even 40 years of driving experience. So um, you get to leverage you know, the access that these folks have. And then the final reason is just the drop-off locations. Um, it is so nice to be able to pop into a city where you can get a meal and so forth versus some of the Megabus locations being in the middle of nowhere and not being able to find anything to eat, etc. Uh, Greyhound does have some bad stop locations, but when it's cold outside, it'd be a lot nicer. Uh, it's worth a few bucks to be able to go into a building as a drop-off point versus on the side of the road, both before you take your trip and after your trip. Uh, good luck in your travel, and uh, please uh, note any suggestions.